y'all Shafni Nicole here and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my little digital space where I teach you how to use your iPad and increase your iPad productivity in today's video I'll be showing you how I set up these focus modes with different home screens before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when I upload videos the first thing that you'll need to do is create a new home screen and you'll need to do this for as many focus modes that you're going to have. Once you've created the number of home screens that you want, you want to head over to Pinterest and you want to find a wallpaper or background for each one of those home screens and download them to your photos app. Once you have all the backgrounds for your home screens, you're going to head over to the Photos app and we're going to create an album for each one of the backgrounds for your home screens. So you're not going to place all of the um, wallpapers in the same folder. Each wallpaper has to have its own folder in order for this to work correctly. The next thing you're going to do is pull down and we're going to go into focus and we're going to add a focus. You're going to tap on custom and here you're going to name your focus and then you can choose the color you want and the icon you want to use as well. Under customize screens, we're going to choose the home screen that we want to use for this focus. Next, we're going to go under shortcuts and we're going to create an automation for this focus. So you're going to tap the plus sign and then tap create personal automation. You're going to scroll down until you see the focus that you created and we're going to make sure it says when turning on and then under search for apps we're going to type in find photos. Next thing we're going to tap on is add filter and then album is we're going to find the album for the home screen and then we're going to tap the play button. And then under search we're going to type in set wallpaper. Under photos, we're going to do the drop down and we're going to disable show preview. And then be sure to turn off ask before running. Next thing we're going to do is start adding in our other apps and widgets to customize the home screen. And the great thing about this is you can use the same app on multiple home screens. Once you have all the apps you're going to use on your home screen, you're going to head over to the app store and download Widgetsmith. 
Then you're going to hold down and you're going to see it shake and you're going to tap on the plus sign. You're going to go down to Widgetsmith. And this is where you can start adding in your different widgets. They come in small, medium, large size. You can do different types of widgets with the widget smith. But I'm going to do a small one right now. And I'm going to make it a photo. So in order to change the photo, you need to make sure that it's not shaking. And then you can tap on the widget. And here you see a lot of the ones I've done. But you're going to just tap on add small widget. And then you'll see all the different types of widgets you can add for a small widget. Or for the sake of the video, I'm just going to add a photo that I got from Pinterest. Now you'll see the widget has not changed so you'll need to hold down in your home screen until it starts to shake. Tap on the widget and then you can change it to the appropriate widget number. Okay so that's how you use the widget smith. Now I'm going to show you some other widgets that I do use. So back in the app store we're going to look for MD clock. That's what you're going to search. And then you'll see it in your app store and go ahead and download it. We're gonna make the screen shake again and we're gonna go back up to the plus sign and we're gonna find MD clock. So with the MD clock one, I don't know why it doesn't show like what they look like on here, but you do have the classical ones. Um, I use the 8-bit one and that's the one with the animal animations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the first medium sized 8-bit one that I see and then I'm going to add the widget. Now while the widget's shaking you want to tap on it and then you'll be able to update the settings on it. You can change the 24 hour time and you can also choose which animated object you want to use on the widget. In your settings you can also change the color of the widgets so if you do dark mode the widget will come out black if you do light mode the widget will come out light um, and if you do automatic it'll switch from light to dark so it'll be light in the day and dark at night And we're going to head back over to the app store and then we're going to download MD Vinyl. It should already be pulled up so you'll just have to download it. You don't have to search for it. Once it's downloaded, hold down on the screen so it can shake and then tap the plus sign. And we're going to scroll down to the MD Vinyl. And again, you can have small, medium, large. And this one gives you three different options of the three different sizes. We're going to head back over to the app store again and this time we're going to search for emo log.
Okay, once you have email log downloaded, you're gonna go back to your home screen, make sure your screen is shaking, and then you're going to tap on the plus sign and then tap on email log, and then you can choose from the three different options that they give you. And if you tap on the email log widget, you're able to see and track your mood for the whole entire month. You also can write down your day and how it went, and you can use different emojis for the day. We're gonna head back over to the app store and we're gonna download one more widget, and that widget is called Flip Clock. If you tap on the widget, you'll be able to customize it. And the great thing about this widget is you can have a Monday, Sunday start. You can change the text color, the text background. Um, you can also add an image to your background as well. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to create a shortcut for your planner. So you want to go to your planner and you want to go to the main cover. And once you find your cover, you're going to take a screenshot and just crop around that image. And if you have Canva, you're gonna head over to Canva and you're gonna create a new design and you're gonna do a custom size of 500 by 500 pixels. You're then gonna go to the element section and then you're gonna look for grid. And then you're going to upload, go to camera roll and then you're going to just add it from your camera roll. Okay, after that, you're gonna tap the share button and tap download, and we're gonna just download that image. This is gonna come up, you can just ignore it. You're going to go back over to shortcuts and then make sure you're in all shortcuts and you're going to tap the plus button and then we're going to tap open and then we're going to search for the app good notes and then you're going to scroll down until you find the planner. And then we're going to tap on this button here and we're going to tap on add to home screen and then we're going to tap on that icon but let's rename the shortcut first to what we want it to say and then we're going to choose our photo And that is it. That is how you customize your focus modes and have different home screens. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye y'all.